So let's look at hyperglycemia. It is a clinical issue of too high a blood glucose. The complications of that elevated glucose can be acute or chronic. A prolonged elevation of blood glucose manifest, manifests as diabetes. Acute complications include agitation, fatigue, thirst and increased urine output. And I recognise that this is not going to occur with one slice of bread, but it is indicative of the issues related to an elevated blood glucose. And in extreme situations, hyperosmolar syndrome for type 2s and ketoacidosis for type 1s. These people are generally ill from other problems, and neither of these states are nutritional ketosis. Nutritional ketosis is a perfectly normal metabolic state that we can drift in and out of when you skip meals or fast. So what are the chronic complications of your blood glucose being too high? Organ damage is significantly caused by advanced glycation end products known as ages. The damage over time is directly related to chronic disease, organ failure and ultimately death. So how do advanced glycation end products cause damage? We've all seen the browning of toast, cakes and biscuits. That's called the Maillard reaction. Glucose binds to protein and under the effect of heat, the slice of bread goes brown. The same thing happens in your tissue. High glucose levels combine with the protein and under body heat, the Maillard reaction takes place. That reaction makes tissue stiffer and inflamed. So every time your blood glucose spikes up, you are effectively toasting your brain, your eyes, your kidneys, your vessels. This toasting is occurring in every organ of your body every day with an elevated blood glucose. Welcome to the complications of poorly controlled elevated blood glucose. Oxidation affects not just proteins, but also glucose and lipids. And once oxidized, these molecules become part of the overall inflammatory process. There's also the polyol pathway conversion of glucose to fructose, releasing inflammatory oxygen-free radicals along the way. And they have the same effect as advanced glycation end products. We can measure the effect of ages in the blood, and the common test for diabetes control is the HbA1c. It is a measure of the damage done by those ages on erythrocytes, and measures that effect over approximately the previous three months. The higher the percentage, the greater the damage. So what do those advanced glycation end products do? Well, they account for organ damage at a tissue level, at every tissue level. They can affect the brain, causing issues from dementia, now being considered as type 3 diabetes, through to mental health and strokes. It is a mechanism causing diabetic retinopathy and macular degeneration in the eyes. Peripheral vascular disease heart attacks, kidney failure, peripheral neuropathy, foot ulceration and amputation, wound healing and the infection in all of its forms, and cancer. End organ damage is what kills you. Slowly we die from the excess glucose in our blood and tissue. An elevated glucose level creates damage in all tissues by a combination of ages as well as glycation of tissue proteins and fat. The protein damage is not just to structural proteins, but also to messenger protein, the very backbone of our DNA. However, what happens to the largest organ of the body, 